to the KSNT Morning Conversation. Today we welcome Emporia State University President Allison Garrett to the program. Thanks for making that drive and good morning. Good morning, David. So a lot of work being done through the summer, I know, right. prepping for the fall semester, but we've got to get a really quick update on mask mandates and on vaccines. So we are wearing masks when we are inside, unless we're in our own dorm room or our own office, uh, but outside everything goes. And we are strongly encouraging vaccines. We sent out a number of communications over the summer to encourage our students to please get vaccinated before returning to campus. We'll have some opportunities as well this fall. Now, I know some schools like K-State and KU are mm -hmm. offering incentives for students yes. to get vaccinated. What about ESU? Yes, we have some drawings as well to incentivize students to get vaccinated. And when will those begin? Uh, those have already been announced. Oh, they have. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. So new students move into residence halls this Friday. Right. Tell us what that day is going to be like. Oh, it is always such fun and crazy. And, um, you know, we have mail carts and bins and dollies and all kinds of things there to help families with the move-in process. And um, I'm so excited to welcome our new students back to Emporia State. And can previous students help the incoming students too? Should they feel the need? Uh, you know, there's probably some of that going on. I know we're also still trying to be kind of careful oh, that's because true. of the masking. Right. So, uh, but um, yeah, lots of help is usually available to help those students with the movement process. It's a memorable day for oh, so it is. many. It's there's a lot no of doubt fun. about that. What about enrollment numbers? What are you seeing as far as like international yeah. or maybe some students that put off school for a year and maybe want to try now? So I would encourage any student who has put off school to charge ahead at this point because it really is a great opportunity to get engaged in the college process. Our international students have begun to arrive on campus. We're excited to see all of them and just thrilled to welcome our students back to campus. So we talked about some move in for Friday. Mm -hmm. Then next Monday is actually the start of classes. That's right. Uh, how much is going to be in person or is it just uh, all the way through or is there still going to be a little virtual happening? You know, mostly all in person, um, just as it was last year. We, we did a really good job and I give all kinds of credit to our faculty for making sure our students had a face to face experience. And one of the other things we're working on this fall is making sure that they have lots of outside of class activities to engage in as well. Now you have some special events to kind of let people really get uh, all enthused about the campus life experience. Explain how those will happen. So we have special events starting um, on Friday night, August 27th with a concert, a couple of great uh, bands and performers who will be out in front of Plum Hall oh, on the lawn. Good times. And, um, Emporia has, as a community, lots of great events, too. We've got the Halfway to Everywhere Music Festival that's coming up, the No Coast Film Festival. We have a First Friday Art Walk and uh, lots of things going on on campus. So we're making sure that our students have that full college experience this fall. And, and lastly, in 10 seconds, are athletic events full capacity? Yeah. As of right now, yeah. it's all the way open. All uh, the way open. Those are exciting times as uh -huh. well. Allison Garrett, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. I wish you the very best as thank this you. semester cranks up. And you can always hear more about the start of the semester at Emporia with Aaron LaRoe on Fox 43 AM Live at 7.